Problem 14. How many ways can the letters in beekeeper be rearranged so that two or more E's do not appear together? So before approaching this question, understand that there are two ways to approach this. One is to count up all the cases where the number of E's do appear together and then subtract that out from the total amount. And that's called con conta, uh, complementary counting. Sorry, I don't know why I'm thinking about contemplate. Complementary. So complementary counting just basically means that you count the number of cases you don't want and then you subtract, you subtract that from the total num number of cases. Or you can just go directly, which is you just count the number of cases you want, sum them up, and you're done. So um, let's try to do option two. The reason why I do option two is because at first, before I did the question, I wrote down the number of slots available, which is nine available. But if we want, how many E's are there? We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five E's, we have nine spots. So obviously that's an odd number. So this is the only possible arrangement for the first case. And the second case is where um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, uh, two, three, and then four. The number of ticks that stands for where the E's would be located. Now, can the, can the second case exist, right? The second case cannot exist because we have one, two, three, four. We have four E's, but we have five total E's. So in other words, we just need to do directly counting because direct counting shows us that we only have one um, correct arrangement, right? That's the only arrangement possible. So in other words, um, if, I re, if I redraw it out, the slots, and I, I conveniently group it by three because that just makes it easier to see. These slots would always be an E. Oh, I'm sorry, this would be an E, that would be an E, E, and E. The only, the, oh, I'll do it in red. The only slots that differ are these slots that are circled in red. And that's what over, that's what determines whether or not um, our our overall combination changes. So what possible, you know, numbers can we, letters can we put there? We can put a B, a K, a P, or an R. So that means we have four choices for this one, but after we choose one choice, let's, such as B, we have three more choices. Then we have two more choices, right? And then we have one more choices. So four times three times two times one will be your answer, and that's equal to 24. And that means your answer choice is answer choice D.